Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, have you ever sat down and thought about how it is that this pumpkin seed can turn into this fruit? Now, I am now being called the pumpkin lady, so I'm gonna share with you the science behind it all. How it is we transition from this to this. Now the pumpkin has been one of my main fruits of production, right? So I thought about it. Do people actually know what they're eating? Do they actually know how the pumpkin comes about? Because we plant this tiny seed. So do you actually know how this seed changes into that large pumpkin that you consume on a day-to-day -day basis? Now, so let's go into the parts of the seed, right? Now each seed is made up of three basic parts, right? We have the hard structure. This is the hard part which you can actually touch. And this is what we call the seed coat. Now within the seed, we have what we call the embryo and the endosperm. So how does this seed change into that large fruit that we consume, right? So first, there are a series of phases that we go through. It must undergo germination, which is the process of it actually producing a plant. And thereafter, that plant, which will produce a flower, will then go through the process of fertilization. Now the pumpkin plant goes through the process of sexual reproduction, which means the male reproductive part will have to fertilize the female reproductive part of the plant. But let me take you through stage by stage. Now here are your dried pumpkin seeds. At this point, the seeds are dormant or what we would also say inactive. Once these seeds are then planted in soil and with the right amount of water, nutrients and sunlight, seeds become active and they start to produce a positive response towards its environment in the form of growth. And this, my friends, is a process of germination. As the pumpkin plant grows and matures, it produces larger and larger leaves. And upon producing these leaves, the plant will also produce a flower or flowers. Now these flowers are the most beautiful part of the plant, but they are not only there to add beauty, they are in fact the reproductive part of the plant. Now pumpkin flowers are unisexual flowers, which means it is either male or female. Now the male reproductive part is termed the stamen and the female reproductive part is what we call the carpel or the pistil. Now let's get into the interesting parts which make up the stamen and the carpel and then to show you how it all comes together to form that fruit. The stamen is made up of two parts, antha and filament. The antha produces pollen grains and these pollen grains contains what we call the male gametes. Now the carpel however is made up of three parts, the stigma, the style which is the middle elongated section and the swollen bottom section which is called the ovary. Inside the ovary, we have what are called ovules. Now, these ovules contain the female gametes, which we call the egg cells. This is very much similar to how we have male and female sex cells within us, the human beings. Now, in order for the egg cells to be fertilized, the male sex cells must be transferred from the stamen to the stigma. And this is the process which we term as cross-pollination, where pollens from the male moves over to that of the female. Now, after the pollen grains move to the female part, they actually fuse to produce a zygote or a new seed. Now, the ovule from the original seed will develop and form that of a tough coat, which is the seed coat which I had told you about. The ovary on the other hand will then ripen and form the flesh or the fruit around that seed. And at this point, the other parts of the flower, for example the petals and the sepals, will all fall off. And then voila, with continuous growth and maturity, we find ourselves with a rich pumpkin fruit. So there you have it guys, the growth process from dried seeds to my your pumpkin so the next time you see that pumpkin fruit around you you'll definitely know the science behind it all remember to like share and subscribe and go on man tell your friends to tell their other friends 